really. We also have the uh, diffuse and specular. Uh, you can see some examples here. The diffuse light comes from an angle. We pick up with the camera from an angle. And uh, you can see in this example, you know, the glossy background surface looks bright uh, while the characters are matte or you know, look dark. Uh, if we use diffuse lighting, which is simply moving the camera up over the top, still lighting from an angle, uh, the glossy background uh, looks darker and the characters appear bright. So that is the same part, same component, it's just the lighting comes from the same angle, but the camera was moved from receiving it in a right angle to straight above. So depending on what you want to highlight, you want to highlight the part or the letters in this case. It's driven by your application. Now here's some specular examples. Um, if you uh, simply look uh, straight down the part, um, and depending on if you want to measure the hole or you want to look for the stamped numbers. Um, if you look at the right side, uh, using specular reflection, uh, that's a much crisper image. You know, the background of the metal looks almost white, you have a nice outline of the round hole, and the numbers stand out too much better. So here's some diffuse lighting which is actually a, a microchip inside a plastic bag. And um, um, we could see through the plastic uh, bag, basically, through the film, by using diffuse lighting uh, and identify the part that's inside and verify the part that's maybe inside the bag. Uh, transmitted light, uh, this is uh, a film. And uh, we're looking for a stain, uh, foreign matter, inside that film or the fabric. And uh, uh, transmitted light again, yeah, you know, that's the backlighting. Here on this example, yeah, you know, highlights the stain very well. Uh, again, size and shape of lighting, yeah, you know, ring direct lights, multiple um, lights uh, on a ring that uh, come out in multiple angles. You can have square lighting, uh, bar lighting, dome lighting, backlighting. Coaxial, where the lighting comes from the side and the camera can actually look through. Spotlight, uh, low angle lighting, and then square you know, or direct lighting. But there's uh, many different manufacturers out there. And uh, again, working with uh, someone that can help you bring in a variety of lights and test them out for your application is typically the best thing to do. Yeah, and keep in mind, the LEDs come in many different colors, you know, uh, blue, red, and white are the most common ones and depending on if you're looking for contrast or if you have a dark part maybe a different light color will work better and also your surrounding light um, if you have uh, overhead lighting uh, and don't shield that that may interfere with your uh, lighting setup and uh, you want to be able to block that lighting out so make sure that you flood your part your field of view with the lighting that you choose uh, and don't have any uh, external light sources come in the film with your application. Uh, so the color of light, uh, there's something called complementary lights. Um, if your part that you're inspecting uh, is green, uh, you want to use a red LED because they're opposite each other on this color wheel and the, the red light will bring out the green color best. If you have a blue part, see if you can find some orange lighting. So this is something that might help you in an application when trying to choose the correct LED color. So here's the complementary light color examples. This is the exact same target. Uh, the little dots on it uh, identify what color light was used. Uh, the part itself is actually red, which you see up here on the right hand side. Uh, if you use white lighting, uh, the part is uh, you know, somewhat indistinguishable from the background. The red light, which is the same color light as the part, really floods it and uh, makes it even less visible. Then if you use a blue light, which was, again, the opposite or near the opposite of uh, that color we were looking at, um, makes it really stand out because it reflects differently and uh, highlights the edges and shape of the part itself. Now here's another complementary color Example, yeah, again, the um, camera is uh, oil stains. Uh, the the um, flaw is an oil stain on a housing, and it's orange, 
So uh, when we use uh, blue lighting, you can see there's much more contrast, uh, you know, because we're using the complementary uh, color example. Uh, wavelength. Now I mentioned earlier that uh, there's something that you can do with filters. You can filter out all other light uh, by using specific filters that only let a certain light frequency come through and be absorbed by the imager. Uh, you can see here um, we're using uh, you know, different types of uh, lighting in this example and uh, there's one, the great camera uh, with uh, a red filter gives the best result um, as it's uh, filtering out all the surrounding light. Uh, again, another wavelength example is uh, yeah, we're trying to detect a surface flaw on a black iron plate and uh, you can see with the blue lighting and filtering versus the red, uh, we see a lot more of the scratches on the surface. Um, we also can look at transparent plastic sheets and you can see on the left side the blue light, you know, we highlight those scratches much more versus the red lighting on the right side. Uh, just a little bit on filters. Um, you know, there are several companies out there that make these. Midwest Optics is uh, one that we've worked with. Uh, it eliminates the other color spectrum and only lets through whatever filter you choose. And uh, that lets you inspect for a particular color and uh, only see the lighting that you choose to reflect on your part. So if you have a red light and the red filter, then that's what the camera will see. Then you can uh, really filter out a lot of the other lighting that might be surrounding the part, product or process. So those are called bandpass filters. So that's all we're gonna to cover today. Uh, again, we talked about uh, why we want to use vision, what type of vision systems are out there, um, basic operational vision system, uh, the types of vision systems, and then two of the main elements of uh, vision, which is lighting and the camera selection themselves. So I'll make this available to you later, but uh, let's get started on your project. Thank you.